Hey guys, it's Alex here and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you and today I'm going to be going over my end pulses which is basically consists of twitch, light burst, curves just to make it just a really nice effect that goes at the end like the shot of an end of a clip say like I used in my Baker edit here so if you haven't already checked this out then go check it out but I'll show you a quick preview of the end pulse we're going to be making today so that there just at the end so you can see there's a slide as it gets a bit brighter and it pulses and it looks really nice so let's get into after effects now i'm actually going to be just in the main comp of my uh, baker edit um just i don't know just freeze so all we're going to do is we're going to make a new adjustment there and that's gone right to the top so i'm gonna have to drag it down a long way yeah. so you want a new adjustment there bring it on top of your clip and you will go to the, the shot which is there for me and you will trim it down and we'll go and then we're going to go forward 80 frames i think that's about the right length if you want to make it any longer then fine we'll just hold shift page down and i'm just going to press this eight times so one two three four five six seven eight and we can trim like so i'll just zoom out a bit so now we have our adjustment there. We can rename this and pulse like that. Okay, so now we have our adjustment there all set up. Now we can start with the effects. So we can type in Twitch. Uh, Twitch. And this is by Video Copilot. If you don't have it, then just search it up. Um, but yeah, most people have it now. So i just, not today done. Um, okay so we can first of all go to our first frame we can keyframe the amount at uh, 100 but we can change this parameter to about 75 and we can then just put the speed up to about 8 like so then we can go back a frame by press pressing page up and we just set this down to 0 and then we'll also just go to the end and we'll just click U and we'll just also set this down to 0 now what we can do is we can go to enable and we can click slide and we can go down to operator controls slide and then we can set the slide amount to wait where's my notes sorry about that uh, we can sorry I'm, I'm trying to remember all the numbers but obviously I can't uh, we can set this at uh, about five and then we can go so we want to go where the shot is we can keyframe that at five, go back a frame and set it down to one, then go to the end and set it down to zero. Actually, I've just done that for the wrong one. Sorry about that. Set it at, all right, hold up. So I right, just hit you to see your keyframes. So if you ever make a mistake, you can be able to see them. Just We'll just delete these like that and we will just go to the start and we're just going to set the amount at 5 and it's the twitches per second that we're going to set at 5 and we will keyframe that on the shot at 5 go back a frame set it at 0 oh no 1 sorry then go to the end and set it at 0 and we can change the slide direction to 180 so it's going to be going sideways and up and down like that and then we can also i think that's about it for that for the twitch actually so now we have our twitch i'll just maybe do a quick ram preview so we can see what it looks like with the uh, twitch see if there's anything that we maybe might want to change Ah, yes okay good I did that because um, what we we'll do is we will keyframe the amount so we'll just set the amount at 5 on the shot go back a frame set it down to maybe 0 go to the end and set it at 0 also now we'll just check that so as you can see it's got some quite nice blur and just it just jitters about for a bit and but slowly returns to normal and it, I don't want it to be too harsh and like really obvious. You just want it something that's just gonna 
just like tell the or the audience or the viewer that is that that's the end of the clip. Really. Yeah, so that looks good. Okay, now what we can do is we can type in light burst, and we can drag on CC light burst 2.5. And that already straight away gives a really nice effect, but we don't. We can put the intensity down to zero, and keyframe the. Um, we can go to the shot, and we can set the ray length at twenty while making a keyframe. Go back a frame, set it at zero. Go to the end, and set it at zero also. And the final effect I'm going to use, but obviously you can use anything else you want, is curves. So we can drag curves on, and then we can go. Other, so we can go to the very first frame, just keyframe the curves at normal, and we can just make a slight curve upwards just to make everything a lot brighter, like that. Not too much, and we can just go to the end and hit reset, and that's just going to return everything to normal. So they are my Twitch setting guys, and I will just do a quick round preview. So if you haven't seen my Baker edit already, then be sure to go check it out. The feedback, as I said before in previous videos, has been great. But I'm probably that video probably hasn't been posted yet because I'm pretty much recording this after I just recorded that video. So I'm just I'm recording lots of tutorials today, so I can just so I have lots of tutorials for you guys because I know you like that. And just remember to keep on requesting any tutorials that you want to see might have been in that edit or if there's another video with something I'll be happy to take a look and maybe make it we will just let this RAM preview so they are my twitch settings switch and I think I think that look really nice so that is the end of the tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it please leave a like if you found it useful or helpful in any way and I will see you on the next one cheers